So one common task when we're working with multiband raster data is to stack the layers up into a single multiband image. So for example, sometimes when you download um, satellite data like Landsat data or Sentinel-2 data, you're going to get a bunch of separate bands that are not uh, connected as one file. So you'll have to stack those layers up. If you um, use ArcGIS Pro, you may do this with like the composite band tool. If you're a user of like remote sensing software like Erdas Imagine, you might use like the stack tool. So there are options to do similar processes in um, QGIS, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. All right, so I have a folder in this uh, uh, in this directory uh, called Sentinel Two. And in here I have um, some data that I downloaded from Earth Explorer, uh, which is a USGS site and it provides access to things like Landsat data, but also uh, Sentinel-2 data from the, uh, from the Europeans. Um, so um, I have two different data sets here. I'm just going to work with this one. And again, this is all just uncompressed. Um, in this granule folder, I have another subfolder. And then in there, I have this image data folder. And those are all the raw bands for that data set. And you can see they're in GP2, which is JPEG 2000 format. So what I would like to do is just take a subset of these bands and stack them up into a single layer. OK, so first thing I need to do is find those. So um, over here in my directory, I have them listed. And if we go down here to granule, and then that folder, and then image data, there's all those uh, bands. So the tool that I use to do band stacking in QGIS is the merge tool. So let me open that up. So this is available under GDAL. So it's a GDAL tool. And it's under raster miscellaneous and then merge. So this tool can do a lot of different things. You can use it to do like merging over space, like taking multiple images and stitching them together to create um, a mosaic or like mosaicing like uh, elevation services or something. What we're going to do is use it to stack images um, or image bands. So I'm going to find this data in the in this folder. Let me see if this is the right one. I have a couple different versions of this. So Sentinel two, and again I just got to navigate into this subfolder. Okay, so what I want to do is stack the blue, green, red, and near infrared bands because they're all the same resolution. They have 10 meter cells. So I'm just going to grab those. So 2, 3, and 4 are blue, green, and red, and then 8 is uh, the near infrared. A note if you don't know what is what bands course or what files correspond to which bands or spectral ranges, you can always look that up online. Um, just generally, these are pretty well documented. Okay, so it open there. And then it lists our files, and we hit OK. And now we should have four elements in the input list there. Now, if you're wanting to use this tool to do stacking, then it's very important to click this Place Each Input File into a Separate Band option. So it actually treats them as bands as opposed to like mosaicing over space. And you can select a data type. We'll just leave it at 32, uh, float 32. I think that's fine. We we'll won't need to set any null values or anything. OK, I think that's fine, other than naming it. So now we're going to go to Save File. And let's see here. Let me actually put this someplace where I can find it later. So we'll go into this Demos folder, and then Sentinel-2 here. And I'm just going to make a Derivatives folder. All right, so that will be our location, and we'll just call this, uh, let's see, this is actually over prog, so we'll call prog s2 dot, and I'm just going to use tiff. There's other file formats you could use, but we'll just go with tiff. Okay, so that should run, so that's, uh, yeah, it looks good, so let's hit run, and see what happens here. Okay, so this is running that, that GDAL tool. Um, again, if you're wanting to find these types of data sets, there's lots of options for downloading this online. Currently, Landsat Sentinel-2 data is free, so it's pretty readily available. 
Um, again, I got this from Earth Explorer, which is USGS site, so it's safe, and um, you just have to create an account. It's not difficult to use. Um, so that's generally my go-to. But if you want to get Sentinel-2 data directly from the Euro Europeans, they have systems in place also. Okay, so that looks like Iran's will close now. So here's our image. Just so we can see where we're at, we'll go down here to turn on a, this OSM base map. So you can see that we're uh, centered over Prague here in the in Czech Republic. Okay, so uh, before we move on, um, let's just play around with uh, symbolizing this. So this is just one like Sentinel tile, it has its own tiling system. We zoom in here, we can see what the data looks like. Um, this is 10 by 10 meter pixels. Um, there we go. And then uh, let's just change the symbology. So we'll go to properties and then we'll do, let's see what we want to do here. Uh, we'll do a uh, standard false color. So we'll do four, three, two. So near infrared, red, green. Okay, so there you get your standard like false collar composite. Okay, so that's an example of how to take raw bands and stack them into one file in QGIS.